Aries Taurus to your September Azardice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new, welcome, welcome. You guys like this video, hit that big like button. Okay. Let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Got some messages coming out. Ooh. Text messages for the month, please. Text messages for the month. have some scorpion energy coming through. I hope you guys can see that. It is Scorpio. Scorpio with the north node coming out in the fourth house. Okay. We're going to use Vesta for the north node. So this is the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. We're talking about that karmic, talking about that you know, getting things done with the North Node over here. We're talking about to gain advancement in your spiritual development and karmic path. This is your soul's destiny. Okay. It appears when it appears it is speaking of karmic gain and soul growth. So it's what is it that your soul needs at this time? Okay, you have a karmic goal that you are working towards in this lifetime and indicates that your soul's mission. So what it is that your soul's really after, right? And really trying to put you on that path. Okay. And going straight to doing it scorpion style. So you're going to use that, scorp that scorpion energy, which is this energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. So there could be something that's a little secretive. It could be that you have someone who is secretive around you. Um, you might feel like you're holding on to a secret. Well, we'll see what's going on on that. And you're going straight into the fourth house. So this is talking about the soul's mission when it comes to what your home and the roots of your being in the fourth house. Okay. So it could be, you know, around your homestead, your family, you building a homestead, you building a family, you yourself, right, in this area. Okay. So, getting straight into the situation, the situation is going to take place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Messages, please. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Talking about that Queen of Swords, so we're talking about clearing the boundaries when it comes to this situation, clearing the mind and using on a new perceptive when we're talking about the fourth house. So it wants to bring in this new perceptive of what's going on. You may even be talking and having this beautiful conversation, maybe even with a, right, a Gemini, right, and talking about these situations. Um, you do have the fruits of the labor over here. This is talking about those comfort rewards, we talk about the nine of pentacles. It's always about the comforting rewards, right? We're not just talking about just any rewards. This is comforts. This could be traveling, uh, buying a new home, self-sufficiency, talking about finances. We're talking about pentacles. We're talking about luxury, feeling the best that we can feel, having that inner love, putting on those new clothes, things that are materialistic and things that make you feel comfortable. Okay. So there are comfort rewards. Okay. So we also have the lovers coming out in the fourth house. So this is talking about being passionate when it comes to a love situation, to a relationship. It could be the relationship of your family. It could be the relationship of your home, right? Because we're talking about the roots. So take that how it resonates, right? Because it's saying this is where we're going to get this reflection and this clear-minded understanding, right? Taking the time for some kind of introspective thinking with the queen of swords. The only difference is you're not really going into a hermit mode that we know of just yet. We'll have to clarify on that, but it's definitely talking about where I'm getting, you know, um, significant personal understanding, 
right, about the situation or hearing it from someone and making me understand. So let's go ahead and clarify on the Queen of Swords. Is talking about the magic, taking the action, having that self-confidence. And there it is again, the clarity of the understanding to the situation, understanding that, you know, through my soul's mission, there is a lot that's, in, you know, that's infinite. There's an infinite of possibilities. And it's like having this perception that, you know what, it doesn't have to end this way, right? I can keep my house. I can do this. I can communicate openly with my family or, you know, embrace what it is I need to embrace within the situation, right? But having insights into your own desires when it comes to the lovers, because lovers doesn't have to be people, but it could be choices about where it is I want to plant my roots, right? Or what I want to do. So it also could lead to profound connections, right? With someone else, right? Let's see. But feeling like you are having the comfort and the comfort is talking about the 10 of cups, which I love because there's a family again, talking about that family unit, talking about that contentment within yourself, having that blissful relationship, really feeling like I'm on that soul's journey or wanting me to have the better understanding of how I'm going to get there but having a strong sense of self, right? When it comes to that. And with the lovers, we're going to have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is saying, because I'm moving passionately into this area. You might even have this sexy, beautiful person coming towards you who is wants to, you know, um, communicate openly with you about the passions of the fourth house. You know, maybe they want to talk about, you know what, maybe you're dating someone and they're starting to, you know, open up and become vulnerable. Or maybe you're becoming vulnerable about the situations of wanting to build a family, wanting to take okay. So let's see what's going on now. Going straight into the mid month. Well, it's getting past those self-limiting beliefs, but I like it though, because it says over here that you're gaining a lot of information also, right? So it's not just about perception, but perception is also about gaining information. And also when we have information, we're getting that communication. So like I said, whether or not you're getting that from a Gemini, um, you know, or someone else, or maybe it's just your own perception of what's going on around you. And also having this Knight of Wands you know, really being on your side about that situation could be dealing with an Aries for sure. Um, right. Um, definitely it's saying, you know what, this is getting me out of those thoughts. So by the mid month, you're really not, you know, that new perception is really popping in to help with the situation, really bringing in this opportunity to really feel those comforting rewards, to really feel what it is you're really truly going after when it comes to the soul's mission. Right. So it's saying there is no more past resentment when it comes to any of this situation. So if you're resenting the house or you're resenting someone in the family or you're resenting, you know, uh, maybe you were even resenting the Knight of Wands. Um, right. Because maybe they weren't on the same page until all of a sudden they come to you and they move towards you and say, hey, you know what? I do want to do this with you. And I am passionate actually about what you're passionate about. It's going to allow that desire to forgive and reconcile within the situation and really cutting through what you might have thought was a, any kind of loss that you were dealing with. I mean, it just could be that loss of understanding, right? And because now you feel this urge to want to create and actually be inspired and actually seeing this Knight of Wands want to grow with you and do these things with you. I mean, literally, the Knight of Wands could even be a, you know, it could even, it doesn't even have to be love. It could be literally. Uh, you know, a designer who's going to design the house for you. Maybe you didn't think you guys were on the same page. You know, I didn't want my living room like that. You know, you wanted to put it all like this. That's not what I wanted for my comfort zone. That was not a part of my comforting rewards. So it could be anything, guys, okay? So take it how it resonates for you because you know what your comfort zone is. You know what that soul's mission is. Soul's mission right now is getting into that, lux that luxury, Maybe it's that vacation. Maybe you guys were on the wrong pages. Maybe they want to go to Europe and you wanted to go to South America. You see what I'm saying? However it is, it's where I feel my soul's mission needs to be because this is a part of who I am, right? And so now you're feeling like you're on the same page so you don't have to have any resentments of you guys not being on the same page. 
now that they've come to declare what it is that truly is important and where satisfaction can help you both. Like I said, right, moving to suburbia, right, could be the, you know, could be the answer, you know, since I don't, you know, want to live in the city and you want to live in the city, I want to live in the country, right? Um, so all those fears and insecurities of not feeling like this is going to go the way I want it to go by mid month, by probably around the 13th or so, you're going to really start seeing everything's kind of sliding together, right? Because of the ace of wands, you're going to see everything coming together. You're going to see that growth. Yeah. Where you felt like it wasn't going to have any growth. So there's going to be this, um, healing. There's a learning lesson here. So as well, of course, there is a learning lesson because this is about karma. This is about karmic things, right, that are coming up. I need to be here. I feel comfortable here. This is a part of my soul's mission, right? If I have to go to, you know, go live, you know, in suburbia, maybe we can go there because that's going to be good for my job. Maybe that's why you wanted to live in the city or you see what I'm saying? Whatever's going on. There's always a reason behind the mission why we need to be where we are, right? Building something, you know, the coming together, the teamwork, the collaboration. Forgive me because now it feels like we can have this teamwork and we're going after the same goals as what we were looking together. Like I said, even if they're fixing your roof, you know, and it's like, well, this is my life. This is my home. This is my place of being, right? We need to be on the same page. So knowing that you're, you know, these implementations are coming together, there's going to be this significant growth for this reward now that felt like it was such a challenge to get there. This beautiful understanding. But it was just because your perception has changed, and I also believe their perception has changed as well. I think you guys are, like, mimicking each other. So getting to the end of the month, we do have the exhaustion after a challenge. So you're going to feel like no matter what, the inner calling of what it is you truly want. Another beautiful karmic card over here coming out is like the awakening of being at the mercy of the understanding. No more lingering issues are going on. There's going to be this calm and understanding and having this approach to the understanding, right? So having the Ten of Pentacles coming out. There's that reward coming. It's going this way, right, right. You see that right towards that nine of pentacles. So this is where the domestic home and attainment, right, really comes in for that fourth house saying everything's becoming more stable. This is where the security is coming in for the family. Everything's becoming constructive collaboration. We're collaborating together. They're on the same page with me, whoever this person is, right, right. I'm standing in my, you know, in my comfort zone. Not feeling like, you know, there anybody's against me. So, yeah, but there's going to be definitely uh, overwhelming to the situation, but you're still standing as a high priestess, which is good. You want that underneath that north node because that says I'm still trusting within myself and the mysteries of the hidden understandings. There's that Scorpio coming in also saying I have the higher wisdom but I'm also going after my sacred knowledge of what it is. And sacred knowledge is always what's attuned to our north and south nodes. Because those are our karmics of what it is we need to complete with the judgment card over here saying this is going to cause that new phase to come in. Bringing in the absolution of the inner calling. The inner calling is the what? North node. The mission. The knowing. The creating. Right? That solid connection of what it is you truly need and feeling like the king of pentacles. And this is where you're going to protect what it is you want, but there's that comfort zone again. So you definitely now have three cards of comfort saying, I am getting to that comfort zone. I'm feeling like whatever difficulties were coming towards me, I can, you know, I'm overcoming these difficulties. Of course, this is going to bring in a new choice. Right now, I'm going to have to think again before making any more decisions, but at least we can, you know, we can feel like we're stable and on the same page. Right. And this will guide you towards making the choices that will align you for the long term goals and the values right here, the decisions. 
your long-term goals, right? Whoops. And not feeling any more like you're going to be in any kind of stagnation, you know, or personal values because personal values are also a part of our soul's mission. So it's going to pull you towards these things. And you're listening to adapt to the situation. But I love it because this Knight of Wands here, whoever this person is, right, is saying, I'm adapting with you. I'm listening. But I want you to understand I am going to be on the same page with you. I have a better understanding. Why do they have a better understanding? I don't usually get too deep in within these situations, but I do want to ask a question. You know, why? Because I can truly see that we need to make progress where it comes to keeping on the same page for the hope. Because there is a goal at hand. And if they don't feel like they're going to where you're going, the goal will not ever be achieved. You guys will always be at each other. You'll always feel like you're on opposites. So it's either going to be that we're going to invest in the long-term benefits and come together with collaboration or teamwork for the overall long-term rewards, or we're not, and this is just always going to be faulty. Yeah. So it's almost like they're having a better understanding. So not only are you having this perception, but through the communication, it's almost like you are making them see it as well. So now we have the better understanding of why they're seeing it this way, because you guys are communicating together, saying this is where it's going to be. This is how it has to be. So having that much needed conversation opened your eyes to say, hey, you know what? And then they say, oh, okay. You know what? I see it. Big picture. So from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands, you guys definitely could be dealing with fire sign. Okay, so no matter what, there's going to definitely be this balance where you're definitely balancing, doing a balancing act. Wow. That's awesome. Putting your thoughts together, making them see as well. Okay, guys. And that was it. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.